Some things you can't walk away from. Hey guys, what's up? It's Robbie with Open World Games, and once again, we're talking all things Watch Dogs. And if you are wanting continuous coverage of Watch Dogs until release, go ahead and subscribe to us on YouTube and let me know that you guys like this video by giving it a like. It helps out a ton on YouTube. We are going to be talking about online multiplayer today in Watch Dogs and what we know so far. Actually, we're going to be getting more information very soon about online multiplayer because we just don't know about Watch Dogs. So stay tuned for that. And uh, don't forget, we are giving away a copy of Tom Clancy's The Division when it releases. So go ahead and look at the description on how to enter into that giveaway. But with online multiplayer, with Watch Dogs. It's really cool because this game is going to be 8 player confirmed multiplayer in a free roam world. Now the really interesting thing about this is we don't know if this is player versus player strictly or cooperatively and how much players you can play with cooperatively versus player versus player. So I don't know if you're going to be able to roam around with 8 players cooperatively or not. That would be really really cool. I hope they give you uh, a major amount of freedom with playing co-op or PvP, but the announced multiplayer modes uh, can all be played while in the single player campaign, which is really cool. I'm hoping that you will be able to experience the story with friends. That is my dream for an open world game like this because I just think it's so awesome to experience great characters and great stories with friends. But what's really neat is that a player from around the world can enter your game and then hack and then upload a virus to you and vice versa so you can pay back someone else. And of course, what's really nice about this feature in particular is that you can shut it off. If you don't want to be involved in any of the trolling and, and the hacking and having players interrupt your game session, you don't have to deal with that. So don't worry, you can definitely shut it off. And I stumbled upon this great article. It comes from osgamers.com. I'm going to include a link in the description so you guys can read up on all the details and they go on to ask what's one of the main advantages of hacking into someone's game and to what extent can you really disrupt their play experience and Ubisoft goes on to say one of the main things is notoriety in the game it's like if you're one of the best to hack and invade people then you're going to be known by other players and people will want to hack you to raise their notoriety and bring you down so they can pull it off. So it's all a renown system and based on notoriety. You lose nothing when you are being hacked because it would be a pain and when you're in a single player experience and when you're being hacked you don't lose anything. But the other player will gain notoriety on the network and this is the base of it. It's like a virus. Everything you do will spread out and you'll grow bigger and bigger and bigger and people will then try to pull you down by attacking you. So that is awesome. I love the concepts in this game and I just cannot wait to see this in action because you're going to be roaming around this open world, jumping back and forth between single player, side quests, dynamic events, and then you're going to be hacked and helped and then hindered. So that will be a lot of fun. You're going to end up being in this world that's going to feel very much alive. So I'm looking forward to that. And this notoriety system sounds like a really interesting aspect of the game. I'm hoping that some of the head hackers in Watch Dogs start facing off against each other. That would be insane. So, and it's nice to know you won't be losing anything when you are being hacked. Um, I think that uh, Dark Souls is a game that this game has actually been compared to. So Watch Dogs has been compared to Dark Souls in the regards to its multiplayer PvP, which is a wonderful comparison. I love Dark Souls, but the nice thing about Watch Dogs is that it's not going to be as insanely difficult, obviously, because um, Ubisoft, they are very well known for making very easy games. I think uh, in many ways I don't want the game to be too difficult. Huge fan of balance in games here. So I hope they have a difficulty setting in Watch Dogs. That would be nice. But I think player versus player is going to be the challenge that this game needs. I know how you think. I see the digital shadow you cast. You lie to everyone else. You 
can't hide from me. I'm going to find you and expose you to the world. And then, of course, on the other side of things, you have the co-op tablet multiplayer. And you will be able to join other players' games on the console, um, on your tablet. So mobile is a big deal with Watch Dogs. So both Android and iOS are supported for tablet play, so that's really cool. What's really nice is the player on the tablet can be using the tablet anywhere in the world as long as they're connected to the internet. And that means you don't have to have a console to play co-op with other players. So you can have your friend sitting by you on the couch even, and then you could be on the console and he could be on his phone or tablet playing with you which is the future for gaming. I think that is so, so cool. But I am hoping that we see console co-op. I want to be able to play with other people in that way. And of course, you can hinder or help people uh, by playing with the tablet. So you can help your friend if he needs it, or you can hinder him, which is really cool. You can sort of troll him and make it challenging. So it's going to be a lot of fun uh, seeing what uh, happens in the open world game mode with all of this going on. So you're going to be able to be single player, a co-op and then a PvP without any matchmaking and then have dynamic events going on all around you at the same time. So it's going to be a very, very unique experience. And of course, there's going to be more multiplayer details coming soon. So if you are wanting those, go and subscribe to us on YouTube. We are Open World Games and we are 70,000 strong on Facebook. And our community is always growing. And again, check out the description on how to enter our Tom Clancy's The Division giveaway. And thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you want more Watch Dogs and Tom Clancy's The Division. See you next time.